does fasting come into this? Is it helpful? Is it beneficial? I mean, uh, we're called low carb fasting. So I do fasting personally. I've been actually doing intermittent fasting for uh, for 21 years, possibly. Yeah, you've you've been doing that for a while. Uh, Fasting is the greatest tool of all. And it really doesn't matter what diet you believe in or you want to follow. You can be on the standard American diet and add fasting and benefit. So you can be vegan and you can be carnivore. You can be any lifestyle you want. Fasting is what really gives your body a break. Because when you're not eating, your body is still using energy. It's not going to stop. So you burn off whatever carbohydrate, excess carbohydrate is stored. And then you go into the fat storage that does not belong in, in those places. So it makes your insulin... Uh, drop uh, so it is healthy so the longer uh, the period the, the fasting the better so I, I I use intermittent fasting I recommend intermittent fasting for everybody uh, the caveat when people start on the, any lifestyle going from standard American diet to try to fast right away they crash because uh, they can't they're not adapted so the body when you deplete the carbs they don't know how the body doesn't know how to use fat so then they crash they get hungry they crave things they start eating things so it's important to do it smart and then adapt eat more protein and slowly ease into uh, fasting but it's, it's doable with any diet um, it reverses a lot of things and it's free and it's free completely free <laughs> um, save you okay. money too because you eat less often less frequent <laughs> Which is actually important because a lot of people complain that, oh, keto is, you know, expensive. But if you take fasting, periods of fasting into account, you're not constantly eating. You're having one meal a day or one meal or two meals per two right. days. And I had people tell me that in my group coaching, they, they were concerned that eating healthy is going to be expensive. I told them, yeah, per meal it's going to be expensive. But once you adapt and adjust, it, you know, maybe the same or even better. And after a few months, they told me that they were spending less on food. Hmm. They're not buying snacks. They're not buying sodas. They're not buying anything. The pantry is just limited with whatever. And then just real food, eggs and fish. You don't have to eat ribeye steaks to be healthy. I mean, eggs is cheap. A tuna, sardines, hmm. uh, ground beef, um, any chicken. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just buy whatever you can afford eat enough of it so you're not eating the other junk and then over time things will you know you'll find out that you're actually not spending more 